welcome back to Mrs. Plant. I know it's been a while since I had a sit down with y'all, but I decided to take a little break from social media. After about two weeks into January, I felt like I really wasn't getting on the ball about doing some of the things that I intended to do for 2017. And I felt like being on social media was really just distracting me from those things. So I decided to take a little break. It was about 12 days long. Um, I was on a little bit and definitely did converse with some of my friends and family. But most of the time I was doing other things and I had some things that I really wanted to do. And one of them was I'd purchased this software called Ableton, which is a music composition software. And you guys know that a lot of the music on my channel, most of it, either I'm writing or my son is writing. And I really enjoy it. I'm not necessarily talented, but I just enjoy doing it. And so I really wanted to learn this software that I had purchased. And so I've been doing tutorials and practicing with that. As well as I had um, downloaded a graphics program that I used for um, just kind of cropping and resizing my images and stuff. And I wanted to learn more tutorials about how to use this software called GIMP. And so I watched a lot of tutorials over this two week period and just practiced. I learned how to make a um, computer monitor from scratch and how to do kind of like a bubbly heart and things like that. Just things that made me feel like I accomplished some things. Also, I had downloaded books to my Kindle app, but I wasn't actually reading them. So I have been reading the last couple of weeks, which has been fantastic. Considering that I'm a retired English teacher, you would think that I would be reading all the time, but a lot of times I just get kind of busy and let that go aside. So also because I tutor students, I'm reading 12 different books with my students, and those are all middle school age books, of course. Another thing that I've been working on in the last couple of weeks is I purchased the Leuchtturm 1913 dotted journal and I've been creating a bullet journal which I've mentioned before. This is my weekly spread from a couple weeks ago. I have my favorite recipes, my gratitude page, I have my books to read and my house goals page. But this has allowed me a creative outlet and a way to keep my schedule and all of my lists and things together in one place. So anyway, I also wanted to share with you some really good news. You know the month of January is 31 days, so we have an extra week, but I have really devoted myself to eating clean this month. So I have really eaten very little out of a package. Most everything are just whole plant foods. Uh, we had a couple meals out, but mostly we ate at home. And so in this month, I actually dropped eight pounds. That is huge for me because I was really on a stall for a while there. And I knew the stall was not that I was eating unhealthy. I think I was still eating healthy, but I was probably eating too many calories. And, you know, I've said this before, but back when I weighed 220 pounds, I could eat a lot more food than I can eat today. I have to eat a lot less calories. I can actually eat a lot of food, but less calories in order to lose weight. Even though all calories are not the same, you still burn calories for energy, and so it does matter if you're eating too many calories. Instead of trying to make my plate really small every meal, what I decided to do instead is to do intermittent fasting again, where instead of eating three meals a day, I'm just eating two. And so that's allowing me to have two meals that are nice and filling, um, but I'm not eating too many calories. I'm eating the amount of calories I need to actually lose weight. So this was a five-week month, and I'm not great at math, but you know, I lost a little over a pound a week, which is the best way to lose weight. You want to lose weight slow and steady. But the goal shouldn't necessarily be to lose a ton of weight quickly. It should be to lose weight and keep that weight off. As you guys know that for the first four and a half years, that after I had lost my 50 pounds, about four years after, I kept that weight off for four years. And it was pretty easy because I was eating whole plant foods. But then I got to a point where really eating as many calories as I was eating was too many. I really had to make some changes to see more weight come off. And I think that doing the intermittent fasting along with eating really lean and clean has helped me tremendously. 
for exercise, all I'm doing is just walking about 30 minutes a day or taking my dogs for a walk. I'm not doing any hardcore exercise or anything. I'm just making sure that I'm moving every day and that I'm eating as little food out of packages as I possibly can. I'd love to hear if you have something special that's been going on with you. And I hope that you guys have a tremendous rest of your week. And I'll be back soon.